walking through forest and he discovered a young eagle. He brought him home and put him along with the chickens in his barnyard. The eagle started eating the chicken feed and started behaving like chickens soon enough. After some days, a naturalist was passing by. He saw the eagle behaving like a chicken and asked the owner, how come eagle, the king of the birds, is behaving like chicken? The owner said, oh, he's no longer an eagle. He's always been like this. He cannot fly now. The naturalist said, but he still has the heart of an eagle. Can you give me just three days? Let me try out. Both men agreed and next day the naturalist returned. He took the young eagle in his arms very gently and told him, You are an eagle. Spread your wings and fly. The eagle was confused. He had never known any such thing like flying. So he just jumped down from the arms of the naturalist and started again playing with the chickens. Second day also went in vain. Third day, the naturalist came again and took the eagle to the high mountains. Sun was rising, weather was beautiful. He held the young eagle up above his head and told him, You are an eagle. You belong to the sky. Spread your wings and fly. The eagle looked at the sun, trembled a little bit, stretched the wings a little bit and finally began to fly. Even today, Occasionally, out of nostalgia, the eagle does come back to meet the owner. But never again after that day has he behaved like a chicken. Just like this eagle, people who have learned to think less of themselves than who they actually are need your help. Can you be that naturalist? Can you help them redecide, rephrase, and redecide? in the direction of their real potential. Can you write the parable of an eagle?